Hello there, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on painting eyes. But before we do that, roll those credits. Right now, so this is a model from Colts 3D. Anyone who's watched Co who's been watching Cobra Kai, like I have, this is Johnny. Everybody knows Johnny was actual good guy and karate kid, and Daniel's son was a dick. So, eyes. Right, I'm gonna paint this using the um, Scale 75 Human Eyes Kit. Um, I'll go through the steps, um, although I'm using the Scale 75 set, the alternate colours are available, you know, in Vallejo and Games Workshop and stuff like that, but it's more just a case of how to get good eyes. So, to start with, we're going to put down the uh, colour of the eye. Right, so you want a nice, a nice pointed brush for this because you want to uh, get right in there. Right, so that colour is Moonray Flesh. And what we've done, literally, just the whites of the eyes. Right now, step two, we're going to do a mixture of um, Do a mixture of decay black and Bosch chestnut. What we're going to do with this is we're just going to run a line on the upper eyelid. to give it that shadow sorry about that, that was my phone There you go. Now you can see just a very faint line underneath the eyelids. Now the bottom eyelids, we're going to do the same as we did with the top, but obviously we're going to do a different colour. This time, we're going to do a mixture of uh, 
Moonray Flesh and Bow Crimson. And same again. There you go, see, just run along the bottom of the eyelids. Now, um, Johnny's eyes are blue, so we're going to be using Holdra Blue. What you want to do with this is just just get the shape of the iris. Now, you'll notice when you do an iris, <clears throat> it doesn't sit in the middle of the eyeball. It touches, let's get this in focus, it touches both the top and the bottom of the eyelids. Okay, it's not a perfect circle, it's arced on both sides and touches both the top and bottom. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back over the iris and what we're going to do is mix the blue that we used for the eye with some moon ray flesh And what we're going to do is we're going to repaint the iris, but we're not going to cover all of it. We're just going to do the center and leave a, like a ring around the outside.
so then you'll get some extra colour into the eye so it doesn't look as flat just like a, a blue iris So what we're going to do next is we're going to use the same mixture as we just did, but we're going to add a little, more, little bit more blue to it. And what we're going to do is just put some highlights, just some little flecks. So they're starting to look a little bit more natural now. Right, the next step, we're going to take the DK black again that we used earlier, and we're going to mix it with some retarder. Now, what we're going to do with this. Is that the pupil? So that's the pupil added. Right, next, we're gonna use some purity white and the retarder that we used before. We're gonna mix up some white. Now you wanna get your finest brush you've got and you want hardly any paint on there at all. What we're going to do is just put a dot in the middle in the middle of the pupil and a little dot just in the blue part what that's going to do is just give the look of light bouncing off the eye Now, final step, going to get some gloss varnish, this one is Green Stuff World one, What we're going to do is just coat the whole of the eye.
and what that's going to do just give them a nice shine so there you go that's the process I use for doing eyes I would say the biggest the biggest part of doing an eye and getting an eye right is getting the size of your pupil um, your iris right as long as you get the size of the iris correct the eye will always look in proportion and you won't get that look like a model surprised sometimes you'll see someone's done eyes and it, it they look perfectly surprised they should should just do, look natural and the biggest part of that is just getting the size of the iris correct and getting the shape of the iris correct um, as long as you can nail that you know you haven't got to be this involved with it but as long as you can get the size right of the iris your eyes will always look correct if the iris is wrong the eyes will look wrong so if you again if you're interested in this model it's from Colt 3D I think I'll have to double check um, but yeah keep on watching we've got some more paint tutorials coming out um, as well as some other slicer setting videos and stuff like that um, and a couple of videos of models we've we've recently finished so don't forget to like and subscribe um, I hope this was helpful for anyone who's never done eyes or struggles with eyes um, so yeah Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.